Hi, welcome to day six. So today we're gonna do start off with some cardio. We are going to do some strength training and then finish with cardio. So main thing here for strength training is to have two different uh, sets of weights. If you can uh, have a lighter weight, something like a water bottle, like one pound, two pounds, and then a heavier weight if you possibly can have it, if you have it at home. So I'll tell you during the class when to switch the weights. Uh, we'll start off with a little bit of a heavier weight and then drop down to the lower weight for the other exercises. So do challenge yourself. We wanna build strength here. We wanna get that body stronger and uh, let's get started. So we're just gonna start with a march. So just bringing those feet up and down. Let's bring our arms into it. So just five minutes of cardio today in the beginning and then five minutes at the end. All right, let's punch forward. So 30 minute class today. Thanks for joining me today. Let's bring those arms back into just pumping those arms. Next one we're gonna do is a heel tap. We're gonna press those hands back for a tricep press. Okay, so heel, heel. Just concentrate on those heels, then press. So when you're bringing those hands back, think of, concentrate on squeezing those triceps. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And remember, go at your own pace. If I'm going too fast for you, then just slow it down. Doesn't matter what pace you're going at as long as you are moving. Going back into a march. The next one we're gonna do is a skater. So we are gonna bring both arms to one side and bring our other foot out to the side. Okay, so bringing that foot out and the other side. So reaching. And back into a march. All right, back into a punch. So punch forward. And back into our heel tap. So heel, heel. Press those hands back. All right, you should be warmed up by now. And back into our skater. So both arms out, other side. So with your leg, if you want, you can bring it out more. You can do this if you'd like. Just bringing the legs out more. It's up to whatever works best for you. I try and keep it fairly gentle so that way everybody can do it, but you can definitely make it more intense. And let's go back into a march. All right, let's punch forward again. So punch, punch, punch. And heel tap, tricep press. So press, press. And back into our skater. So both hands and one foot. Okay, back into our march. All right, let's punch forward. Punch, punch. We're almost already at our five minutes. Heel tap, tricep press. Press back. Okay, back into our skater. And one more set, so back into our march. Pumping those arms. 
And let me see your punch. Okay, heel tap, tricep press. And then you've just got the skater and then we're gonna go into our strength training. Okay, skater. Okay, let's just slow it down a little bit. We'll just march for a tiny bit. And then we're gonna do the weights. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. All right, relaxing those feet. Okay, so for the strength training, um, I'd like you to grab a weight that you think you can manage for doing, um, we're gonna work our back first, chest and biceps. So for the, if these ones you do need to have a, a bit of a heavier weight, you don't need to. I recommend it just because you will get more out of the exercise. Okay, so if you have um, possibly a four or five pound maybe, that would be great. But again, all of you are different. So I don't wanna recommend a certain weight exactly because I don't know you and I don't know what weight you need. So you need to figure that out. So whenever we're doing the exercise, maybe start with something lighter. It depends on if you've been using weights at all or not. But the main thing is here, when we get up to about uh, 10, 11, 12, when we're lifting the weight, and if you find that you're, you're lifting and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so easy, then you need to have a heavier weight or it'd be best to have a heavier weight. By the time we get to 10, you know, when we're lifting it on our 10th repetition, it should be getting challenging, okay? So by the time, you know, we're at 10, 11, 12, it should be difficult to lift that weight or challenging to lift that weight. So do the class today, see how you feel, and, uh, and then if you can, try and pick up some heavier weights. I know a lot of stores are closed right now and it's difficult to buy things, especially exercise equipment because everybody wants it and everybody's at home or a lot of people are at home. So do what you can with what you can find or just use something that you have at home. All right, so we're gonna start with um, our back row and we're gonna do singles first. So I'm gonna turn my chair just so you can see me a little bit better. And you're gonna have your weights. So we're gonna lean forward. So you're just hinging at the hips basically. You're just hinging, one arm is down and I just want you to lift that elbow up. So it's like you've got a string from the elbow going up to the ceiling, okay? So sitting up straight, leaning forward, having that weight down and you're just lifting up and back down up and down we're doing this 12 times this is three four five six seven eight nine now, when you have that weight at the top, you're squeezing your back, okay? You're thinking of your shoulder blades going together. And last one, put that weight on the leg and switch to the other side. So arm is going down, you're hinging forward at the hips, lifting that weight up. Now try not to let that elbow flare out to the side. You're keeping that elbow close to the body. Now it's just my arm that is moving up. My whole body is not moving that up. And last one. Okay, sitting up, taking a breath in and out. Now we're doing the same thing again, but we're doing both arms. So we're gonna lean forward and we're gonna row both, okay? So lifting up, squeezing those shoulder blades together and down, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if that's all you can do, you can stop here. Eleven. 
and 12. So if all you could do there was eight, nine, 10, that's, that's fine. Then you just come out of it and then you start on the next exercise with us. Okay, so, but goal is to move up to 12. So try and find a weight where you're able to do 12 or, and it's definitely challenging, but uh, not so much that you are, your form is being compromised, okay? When I say that, I mean, I don't want people to be doing things like this, trying to, trying to lift the weight up, okay? <laughs> it's just your back that's doing the work and then you're slowly bringing it back down again. Next one, chest press. Okay, so sitting on the edge of the chair, you're leaning back into the chair, you're bringing the weight to the shoulders, and you're just pressing forward. So press back to the shoulders. Press. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Now I want us to do singles. So bring one up and the other side. Two, three, four. Now it's probably getting challenging. Try and continue. But if it's too difficult, just come out of it, sit up straight and just take a break. Keep going, we're on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, we're gonna do one at a time. So just bringing that one up and back down. Two, you can have the other weight on your leg if you'd like. Three, four, five, six. So when you bring that arm down, slowly down. That's eight, slowly down, nine, 10, and last one, excellent. Switching to the other side. So arm up and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. two more. And 12. Okay, both arms. So going up, slowly back down. So try and follow my pace. This is two, slowly down, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, still with me? Nine, 10, do what you can. 11, last one, lifting up and down. Excellent, you're not done your biceps yet. So arms are here. Now I just want you to angle this one. I find biceps need a bit more of a workout. Uh, they can handle more. We're just gonna bring that weight to this side so we have the weights angled other side. So again, slowly down. Okay, so slow and two, three, four, five, Now, if you've had to stop because the weight is too heavy, then you'll know next time just to drop the weight, have a little bit of a lighter weight. Seven. Eight. Slowly down. Nine. Ten. 
two more on each side. 11. And last one on each side. Slowly down. And down. Excellent, good. Okay, weights on to just above the knees and we're gonna do a calf raise. So we're just gonna lift those the heels up. So lift the heels up as high as you can and back down. Lift up and back down. So we're working our calves here. Trying to make the our legs stronger. Four. Five. Just keep going. I don't think you want to hear me count all the time. And we've got two more. So as high as you can. And down. All right, we are going uh, to do a set of sit to stand. So you've done this with me before. So as you know, first level is just bringing your legs up and down. As we stand, you're gonna bring your, your feet up, okay? Second level is having your legs, keeping your legs up. And then for the next, we're just gonna stand. So for those who can try and stand with me, we're gonna do 10 sit to stands, trying to strengthen these legs. So let's go. One, sitting down, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, take a break if you need it, eight, nine, last one, and then we'll do our hover. For those who can, let's hover over the chair, sitting back. So you're not sitting down all the way, just hold. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, you should feel that in your legs. Uh, it is a good workout doing those sit to stands. All right, so next one is lateral raise. So here's where you'd use a bit of a lighter weight. Okay, so grab onto the lighter weight. We're gonna do a lateral to front raise. So this is working uh, the middle part of our shoulder and the front of our shoulder. It gives some definition in the front of the shoulder when you do the front raise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do singles. So weight in one hand. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring that arm out to the side. You're gonna go forward and in. Okay, so let's start together. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Now, if this bothers your shoulder at all, just do the one that works best for you. You can either go out to the side or you can go just in front. This is 10. 11, last one. 12. Okay, that's a challenging exercise. Other side, so out to the side, front and down. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more. Okay, now we're gonna do doubles, okay? Just bring those shoulders back. Now for the next one, we are going to bring them out, front, down. Now we're going front, back, down, out to the side, and down, up to the front, out to the side, to the front, this is six, out to the side, seven, up to the front, eight. So control at all times, remember? Control, no swinging. 10, we've got two more if you can manage it. 11, last one to the front and to the side and down. Good stuff. 
All right, next one we're gonna do is our tricep kickbacks. So same position sort of as the uh, bent over row. So we're going forward. Having, I'm gonna move my chair to, to the side for you. So again, like we did with the back row, we're doing this one a little bit different. So you're bringing that arm up. So that's the same position as before, but now we're kicking the hand back. So this upper part of our arm is staying there, okay? We're just kicking that weight back, squeezing the back of our arm and back in front. So let's go. So that's one. Two, so really squeeze the back of the arms. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got two more, eleven, and twelve. Other side. So another thing with this one, um, keep the elbow close to the body. Sometimes people flare their arm out, so keep that elbow close to the body. So other side. So hanging down, back is flat, you're leaning forward, lifting that arm up, and then just bringing that hand back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, last one, and 12. Okay, pick up both weights. So you have both in your hand. We're gonna do the same thing now and doubles. So if your arms are tired, give them a break on this one. But if you're able to, we're gonna do both at the same time. Leaning forward, el um, elbows up and kick back. One, two, in control at all times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, last one, and 12. Good stuff. All right, so we are going to do a second set of sit to stands. I know, I know, more legs, but it's really good for us. Okay, so you remember the different levels. I'm not gonna go over them again, but uh, if you can, we're gonna stand up. Just do as many as you can standing up, and then uh, if you need to take a break, then just lift your feet instead. All right, ready? And up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Okay, I'm gonna move the weights out of the way. Five minutes of cardio, and then we're gonna go into our stretching. Okay, so we're gonna do our single jack. So we're gonna bring our arm out to the side, leg out to the side, other side. So bringing that leg out. So flushing out that lactic acid, which we've built up doing the weights, we're doing some cardio to um, just feel better after the class. So foot out to the side, arm up at the same time. And going into our march, and just pumping those arms. Taking a deep breath in and out. All right, let's pump those arms. Okay, let's bring those arms out in front and we're gonna bring a leg out and the other side, out. Out, pressing that arm back, press, press. And then we're gonna do a heel and press forward. Okay, so pressing forward, going at whatever pace here that works for you. Okay, you don't need to follow my pace, do what, uh, what you wanna do.
Okay, back to our single jacks. So arm out and leg out. If you want to make it more challenging, you can do both at the same time, meaning like this. Okay, if you want more of a challenge. Back into our march. Breathing in and out. Okay, arms up in front, leg out, other leg. Okay, heel in front and press. Back to our single jacks. So single, other side. Back into a march and pumping those arms. All right, foot to the side, arms in front. So arms in front, foot out to the side. So we've got uh, one more day after today and we have done our seven days. So pick the days that work best for you. If there are certain days that you like more than others, then by all means, just do the ones that you really like. You don't wanna do a class that uh, you're not enjoying. So main goal here is just to be exercising, to be working out, getting that uh, blood flowing. Let's do a heel tap. So choose the days that work for you and um, and just follow those days. All right, back to our single jack. So out, out. And back into a march. Hands up in front. Going out to the side. We are almost done. One more minute. I hope you feel like you got a good workout, especially for those muscles. And pressing. Okay, last round. Single jacks. And let's march. Bring those arms out in front, out to the side. So after this, we're gonna do our stretching and you are all done. And heel in front. Okay, slowing that down. Taking some deep breaths. And going down to a gentle march. All right, relax those feet. We're gonna do some stretching. We're gonna bring our arms overhead, deep breath in. And breathing out. And again. And out. I'm going to bring one leg out to the side. I want you just to lean over to the other side. So feeling a good stretch here through your side. Bringing that arm down, going to the other side. So reaching that leg out, stretching in the opposite direction. If you can, try and get that leg as straight as you can. It can be difficult for people, but do what you can. Bring that arm down, bringing the hands together. You can either press them out this way or you can press them this way. It's up, it's up to you, whatever you're more comfortable with. I like this one just because my fingers get a stretch as well, but do what works best for you. And switching the other direction. So hands are back, stretching out that chest. 
pushing the hands out to the walls, really pressing as if the walls are coming in and you're pressing them out. Bring one arm in front, crossing in front of the body, pull that arm in, feeling that in your shoulder. Switching to the other side, arm goes out, pressing that, pulling that arm in. And relaxing that arm, tricep stretch, bringing the arm straight up, dropping the hand behind as much as you can and push that arm back to feel that here. So you might be a little bit sore tomorrow from the strength training and that's okay. It's good to have a little bit of soreness. It'll go away within, uh, you know, within a couple of days. So just the more you do strength training, the less you will feel in terms of that uncomfortableness. So um, it just means your muscles are working to get stronger. So stick with it. It is a good thing. All right, again, taking a deep breath in and breathing out. And that's it for today. If you want a, more of a stretching uh, program, I have more in the playlist. So just check out the playlist if you want more stretching. And otherwise, I will see you tomorrow for day seven. All right, have a great day. Bye for now.